Hey everyone, it's Zarelo here, and today I'm going to be doing a Blood Ancient class guide. A few of you have been wanting this. Uh, a few of you have also been asking for a Glacial Warlord class guide, which I would love to do. In fact, I would have loved to have had that class guide out for you by now. The problem is I'm entirely broke at the moment. I've got $4 to my name, and I'm not getting any more money for another week. I'm literally waiting to be paid. So, the class guide will come as soon as as I have the class, uh, and not a moment sooner. So, enjoy this Blood Ancient class guide. To get the class, simply join Seferia and talk to Orlok over here. He's a vampire law keeper and, you know, you, you become a Blood Ancient now. You just do his quests, which, well, you've got to do a quest saga first, but you basically get Legacy Vitae or whatever it is, and you turn them in for this. Now this takes an hour or two, maybe three, I can't even remember, I did it a few years ago. It's a slow process, but you get the class. Uh, this class was actually a midweek release. They made this class in half a week, and that's pretty impressive. So that's how you obtain it. It's member only. In fact, I'll just show you. Member only, but AC. So storage, and there's two different helms to go with it. So Vampire themed for those of you who didn't guess that already. One thing I did neglect to mention is that you can actually pick up this class for 2,000 adventure coins from the class store in Battleon if you want to. Just a reminder, even that version is member only. So for enhancements, I'd recommend full strength, maybe a little bit of luck to boost your crits. Uh, in terms of your ore enhancements, uh, same as normal for me, Spiral Carve or Health Vamp. Uh, the heal on this class is okay, but I feel that health vamp would help with that a bit more. And I mean, it, you're a vampire. You sort of want to be using the whole health vamp thing. Uh, that said, Spiral Carve is always handy with a class like this. Uh, if we look at the passives, you've got an increased strength by 10% and increased height. So that's why the fighter and the strength aspect is quite crucial, because you're getting a 10% boost on top of that. And haste means you're attacking more often. Uh, it's got a 112 DPS at level 55. Uh, it's basically the warrior sort of model for mana regeneration. If you hit, you get it back. If you hit on a crit, you get even more. And if you're hit by an enemy, you get MP back too. This class does have a rank 10 passive. And this is like a mist sort of thing. Uh, it means you hardly ever take any damage. So they've tried to sort of theme this off the vampire idea. Uh, they're quite clear in the lore surrounding this that it is not a vampire itself, it's just someone with the powers of, or powers similar to, a vampire. But yeah, no vampire class at this point. So now I'll get on to the moves and how they work. So we'll just get started. I mean, it's simple, basic two second cooldown for the auto attack. The first move is Hemophiliac, which, uh, it's quite an interesting name for a move, if you actually know what it means. Uh, it's just a historical thing. Um, 25 MP, 8 second cooldown, and it's physical. Now, this weakens your opponent and slows them down. I'll just, I'm letting it hit me so you can see what damage it normally does to me. Uh, there we go. Hemophiliac is applied. Now, you could actually see there that it was a nice damage strike. And it looks like it reduces incoming damage by about 40%, as well as a noticeable sort of attack speed reduction. So, it's a cheap move, I mean, it's got an 8 second cooldown and the effect lasts a while. You, as you can see, you actually regenerate the MP back pretty quickly. And it does actually a bit more than your normal auto attack damage, so nothing to be worried about there. Uh, the second move, Draw Blood, causes a moderate open wound on your foe and it as you're a vampire, when you smell their blood, your strength and speed increases for 6 seconds. So let's just uh, take a look at that. Uh, you should notice a slight increase in damage. And it's not huge, but it's it's nice. Uh, and you're also attacking faster, and that's a big thing. So you get the basic idea of how this uh, moves. Uh, you've got your... Uh, third move over here, Regeneration, which is incredibly cheap. It's actually only 5 mana. Uh, there's a catch at this move. I've just used it. Or did I? 
I think I might have missed. But uh, you'll see what the catch is in a second once it recharges. The catch is that you've actually, well, firstly, apparently, you've actually got to hit your opponent. We'll just skip on to this third move Soul Grip 30 MP, 40 second cooldown. It's a high damage and a stun, so we'll just, uh, that. Now it can stun your opponent from anywhere between 1 and 6 seconds. We've got regen. Now that's a heal over time. It's a small heal over time. Uh, now, as you, I think that's about 575 that it's healed me for. All the moves here are based um, off your physical ability. So you can see it does vary to exactly how much it uh, heals you. Uh, the tr yeah, as I think I said it already. Uh, the the less MP you have, the more it heals. So basically, the best strategy for this class in maintaining a good heal is to spam your moves. Now I'll do a little example of a good rotation for spamming your moves. Weaken them, strengthen yourself. Nice big hit. And then just try and maintain everything. And then we give a. Uh, Hopefully, lower your MP, just try a bit of a heal. Now, admittedly, you don't really notice much of a difference with that heal. So, you can see why I suggested Health Amp. Uh, all in all, Blood Ancient's actually a really nice class, uh, especially in PvP. I remember when this thing first came out, there were a few people that used to use it in PvP, and I'm pretty sure there would still be some. Uh, between severely weakening and slowing your opponent and keeping yourself empowered and the large stun potential for a heal, you've got quite a nice combination so I think it's worth your time it really is uh, something nice that members have, one of these little classes there's nothing really stand out or amazing about it, it's quite a simple sort of concept but it works and it can be a lot of fun So. I think you're better off just farming for it than going for the ACs, if that's up to you. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this video, and there'll be more again soon. Until next time, bye.